Okay, so earlier we were talking about the um, atom packs, and I gave uh, my first views. What I thought I'd do as well for people that are potentially looking at purchasing one of these packs, I'll give you some of the little features and benefits of, of um, the pack that I've got here. Um, so this one here is the 50 litre prospector. So it's a 40 litre body, two and a half litres side pockets, and five litres front pocket. So that's 50 total. Okay. It's a roll top, uh, so there's no brain. It just clips down on the side, budgies down the side, pretty standard pack. Um, hip belt if you want it, um, sternum strap if you want it, and then you get the uh, pockets which are um, custom made. Again, if you want pockets, you can have the pockets added. On this side here is a nice little feature though, and you've got this little mesh. Uh, what do they call it? I think they call it power mesh. And the power mesh just it's just put over over the, the side hip belt, and you can put your sweets and chocolates and, su and supplies in there. Um, you can use it for anything, I suppose your mobile phone or electronics or anything like that. I tend to keep my sweets and snacks in there, and my electronics in, in these bags, the side bag. They're very very well made, but again, with all of these bags, make sure you put some water waterproofing inside because they're not going to be completely watertight. Um, so. With the mesh on the front as well, um, it is pretty tight, okay? If you use the, this is the stretch fabric, if you use the mesh, um, Atom Packs reckon you're gonna get a lot more packing space. Um, so it is quite a tight fit, but I've got everything in here. I've got my Pertex top and pants, um, my, my rain jacket and kilt, uh, my dump bag, spoon, a whole bunch of stuff in here. There's plenty of room, but it's a tight fit but it's a good fit, okay? Um, there was something else I wanted to mention, which was very quickly at the bottom, there's a great facility, which is just this, this fabric at the bottom, where you can put, I've just put my map in there, and you've got this little corner piece section, where is it, there, yep. where you can put in your rubbish. So any, like, uh, when I have a snack, I can have my snack on the move without stopping, and then just take the trash, and, sh and shove it in this little wrapper pocket at the bottom and then at the end of the day you can take all your trash and stick it in your trash bag and I also put my map on in there and I can access that easily on the trail, no problem at all. So that works really, really well. Um, it has an internal frame. You usually get an HDPE backing that goes in here. I don't like it because it's very stiff. So I've just got my, uh, my sleep mat in here to give it some padding and then there's a carbon fiber frame which runs up the sides and around the top, which is optional, okay? Uh, I like the carbon fiber frame. I think it's, from memory, I think it's about 80 grams that adds the total weight to the pack. Um, and I removed the HDPE completely because I just found it too rigid. Um, other than that, I think it's a great system. And I've been, oh, by the way, you've got this, these bottle sleeves at the top. They take a 600 ml um, bottle of water, a smart water bottle, and they fit perfectly. Um, and you can have those on, on either or both of your shoulder straps. So all of this is customizable, right? This is not part of the pack. I added this um, little bag here. And I use a little chest bag as well, which works very, very well. Uh, which is what I call my <laughs> roo bag, my kangaroo bag. And that just fits on the chest. I keep all my snacks. Anything I need accessible through the day is kept in that bag there. Um, but yeah, it's a great little bit pack. I'm very happy with it. But hopefully, hopefully that shows you some of the features of the pack so you, you get a good idea of what you're getting. Overall, it's a good construction and I think um, well worth the money um, paid. So I hope that helps. Could you quickly unroll the top yep. for me unroll just to show? Top. So it's just a, a V clip, um, clip at the top. You can have it either a V or a single strap, it's up to you. It unclips on the side, unclips on that side. Same as the Z-Pax packs and the Hyperlite packs, all the Ultralite packs do. The difference with these packs, they don't have Velcro at the top, they just have two press studs and then opens up into the pack itself. And I've got my food bag at the top. Um, well, that's one thing I wanted to mention, it's not seamed. So Atom packs do not have the facility to seam seal their seams. So what I've done with my pack is I've, done, I've taken seam sealer and I've put seam sealer all the way down the seams, inside and out. It's a shitty job, um, it's horrible stuff to work with, but it's well worth it. Unless you want to carry a pack cover, which most through hikers don't carry pack covers, because we just don't like it, it's just more shit you've got to carry. Um, this material is, for the most part, waterproof. 
this VX21. But if you get water through these seams in a heavy downpour, which this weekend we've got some heavy weather that we're walking through, and um, that's why we're hiking this weekend, so we want to test these packs. But seam seal your pack, okay? It's not seam sealed. Other than that, uh, the pack is good to go. So I hope it helps, um, and we'll see you on the trail, no matter.